Hey, hey gang, today we're going to do a sweet Dickie Betts lick from the song Melissa. It's a beautiful song and it's a beautiful lick. It's not that hard and I'm sure you'll enjoy playing it. I'm going to do a demo of the lick and then we'll do a lesson where I'll show you the lick as well as a couple of its variants. Hey, before we do, why don't you sub to the channel if you like this and why don't you drop me a line and let me know in the comments what other lessons you'd like to see. Okay, on with the demo. All right, gang, let's go over this in some detail. Now, first things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. It's gonna make your life a little bit easier. Here's how I'd like to talk about it. Let's talk about the chords first, then I'll do a slow-mo demo, and then we'll go over it line by line, but there's really only one line. Then I'll show you a couple of variants that you can try out over this chord progression. Now, it is really a beautiful sequence of chords. Simple, but very beautiful. Here's basically what it is. We're gonna start with an E. And then there's a couple of other chords that are really pretty. And it ends up on an E. Okay, so how do you think about those really pretty chords and what do you call them? Well, I don't care what they're called. Here's what I think. Here's how I think about them. I think about them as essentially an E. That's easy enough. Then I think of this as an F sharp minor variant. Then a G sharp minor variant. Now that's obviously not the same. So what do we do to get those open notes? Well, first of all, we lift off our first, we play an F sharp minor and then we essentially lift off our first finger off of everything except for the third string. So instead of playing this bar right there, we'll play that F sharp minor, but we'll play all the strings, but uh, we're only going to play with our first finger on the third string second fret. Okay, does that make sense? So uh, sixth string open, then four, then four, then two, then open, then open. And then for the next one, I think of this as a G sharp minor variant where you just leave everything else open, same thing. You're just shifting up two frets. I think that's a lot easier than just thinking about what is the name of this crazy chord. You can think of it as a F sharp minor. You can think of it as some sort of A sixth variant. And heck, you can even think of it as something like a D major seventh. But to me, that's the way I like to think of it as F sharp minor, but you're just changing the bass note and leaving some open notes. Enough about that. Let's talk about the lick itself. So the lick itself is this. Let me play that very slowly, okay? So I'm up here on the first string, 12th fret. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to play it very slowly. Okay, so what is going on there? First of all, this is basically an E major pentatonic lick. That's it. And we're going to start out here in the first fret playing the root E. I'm the first string, 12th fret, playing the root E and then we'll play 14, pull off 12. So it's... Second thing, we're gonna shift the position. Now Dickey was really, really good at shifting positions all over in his major pentatonics and making it seem really smooth. This is no exception at all. And so here we're going to play on the second string, 12. And then we're gonna play 13 on the third and slide down to 11 really quickly. Okay, so it's, all right, then we're going to play nine on the third and 11 slide down to, or pull off to nine on the fourth. And then finally nine on the fourth, 
uh, slide down from 11 to 9 on the 5th and then play the, the ninth on the 3rd string. Here it is again very slowly. Now there's different places you can play this on the fretboard. You could play it up here. That's fine too. Uh, that's from the second string, 17th, and, and so forth. You can work that out if you'd like. I find it easiest to play right there, and it sounds great. Okay, so what are some of the variants that you can play on this one? Well, this is just a playground for E major pentatonic. So you can play, there's a lot of stuff that Dickie does with like pre-bends and we can show some of that maybe in a future lesson where we do more in depth on Melissa. You know, that kind of stuff. And you can also use his famous, some of his lines from his famous hexatonic, which is not quite in the major pentatonic, right? This. This A right here is the fourth, so we'll add that fourth. Lots of stuff you can play with that. It's just really beautiful and, um, you know, lots of shifts like that. So have fun with it, play, get the basic lick down and watch those slides. That's really kind of neat how he does some of those slides. So pay particular attention to that one and nice clear notes. All right, gang. Well, there you have it. Dickie Betts from Sweet Melissa. What a beautiful lick, huh? All right. Well, I hope you like this one. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't yet, sub to the channel. We'll see you on down the road.